One of the major new updates in Adobe Photoshop 2021 is the new neural filters feature, which use Adobe's Sensei artificial intelligence AI technology to allow you to influence facial features and apply different filters as well. So when you have a portrait or face open and you click filter neural filters, you get this new neural filters menu and you have a few different options. So they have skin smoothing, style transfer features, such as allowing you to add like an artistic style and you just kind of switch them on or off. These are kind of your standard type of filters, but some new filters that they have, if you click these beta filters, are things like the smart portrait, which uh, were kind of available in like the liquify tool, allowing you to move the eye and facial expressions. But now it's kind of done in a different way. You see, we have different expressions like happiness, surprise, anger, and you can turn them to the right or to the left. So if I increase the happiness all the way max, I've kind of picked a good but not perfect picture because we see um, there's some obstruction with the thumb in the face. Uh, so it's always going to depend on the lighting and the face and the objects in your image. But when you apply these filters, it'll say processing because this is using processing in the cloud. So you do have to be connected to the internet. But once it finishes processing, you'll see we have our final result. And it's kind of crazy because obviously the person was not smiling in the original portrait and it's just used artificial intelligence and kind of put teeth in there. But as you can see, it has blurred up this area. It's kind of created the chin line. So it's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job of creating a fake different expression from the original photo. And especially for subtle changes, you probably wouldn't be able to perceive it in the right context. Uh, yeah, obviously some of these aren't going to look as good as others. Uh, I imagine, I don't know, you can make memes with those kind of lower quality results. But you also have some interesting things such as facial age and head direction and light direction. So you can kind of, it's kind of like those make me old filters that were trending in the past couple of years and especially with all the filters on Instagram and TikTok, like the baby filters and different things like that. All this technology is kind of catching up. Uh, you have hair thickness in adding fullness to the hair or making it thinner. And a crazy one is head direction. So you can make kind of influence from looking right to looking left. I guess if you want them to fit more in to the subject and light direction is really cool. So right now in the original photo, you can kind of tell the light is coming from the right and being cast. So, but if I change it to the left, we'll see some of those shadows kind of switch direction, but some pretty cool things in there. You also have some other new beta filters. Uh, you have different transfer of makeup styles from one image to the next. You have depth aware haze in the background. Another cool one is black and white colorize. So here, this is a black and white image. It'll automatically try to colorize, especially for old photos. Um, a lot of these aren't available yet, it seems, but they're on the way. So dust and scratches, different photos, sketch things, different artwork styles and character styles, but some pretty cool major new updates with the basic smart portrait, colorized tools, skin smoothing and whatnot. You can hit this button here to preview the changes before and after, and you can also press OK to apply those changes. And once you do, you'll see either you can make it all go on a new layer or you can make it apply as a smart filter on the original layer. That all depends on the output here, current layer, smart filter, whatever you want so that you can always go back and adjust and don't have to permanently alter the original image. Another new feature is the sky replacement feature. So if you go to edit sky replacement, Photoshop will automatically try to detect the edges and you can actually fill in a preset type of sky. So you have different clouds, blue skies, um, gradients, it'll automatically find it or there's, there's a whole bunch of different ones here in this menu and you can adjust the edge down or up to kind of fade it and you can change like the brightness, the temperature to try to blend it a little bit more. So this is a cool automatic new feature here for sky replacement. You can output it to a duplicate layer or new layers. 
and you see the whole sky replacement in all of its layers if you want to continue to manually tweak it. You also have some new shape tools and improvements to those tools, such as the triangle tool. So you can see here, you can do that, but then you can also do live adjustments like rounding the corners, just like that. And then you have the same tools for filling in, filling in the colors and all of those that have been there before. There's also a new tool in the view menu called the pattern preview menu. This will automatically allow you to see what your shape would look like as a seamless pattern. So if you're planning to create a pattern to put it printed out in some way, you can kind of see as you design of what your image would look like as a pattern. So those are some of the key major updates, but there's also a bunch of smaller improvements. If you want to check them all out, you can see it on Adobe's update page logs. But if you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for new videos. If you want to check out some of my other Photoshop tutorials in the playlist on my channel, I've actually gone over all of the filters in the filter gallery previously. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.